Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jamie G back here again. Thanks very much for joining me in today's video. Builder all, is it all that it's cracked up to be? Click funnels, is it worth that $100 a month investment? Is there a better alternative? Stick around, I'm going to cover a couple of ways that you can make awesome sales funnels right after this. What's going on guys, welcome back. My name is Jamie G and if you are new to my channel, I cover internet marketing, affiliate marketing, how to get started online and all things digital. So if that's of interest to yourself, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date with everything I'm going to be putting out, which is hopefully a lot. Right, so today we're covering builder all versus click funnels versus any other funnel builder out there. Which one's gonna be the right one for you? How do you know, uh, I guess, cut through all the BS that's out there about all these builders and all the marketing involved and work out whether it's actually going to be suitable. So first of all, I will start with ClickFunnels. Now I have uh, used ClickFunnels for about a year and a half and I did actually move away from ClickFunnels basically because I figured the starting rate is 100 bucks per month, $97 per month. And don't get me wrong, it is in some ways kind of like the Rolls Royce of funnel builders. It uh, is drag and drop, it's very easy to use, it's intuitive, um, you can uh, customize a whole bunch of stuff on it. It's got different templates that you can use, you can swap funnels with other people, do all that, all that sort of stuff as well. And of course they have that very awesome uh, affiliate program, pays 40% recurring per month. So if you make one sale, it works out to be 38 bucks or something like that, I think it is from memory. They also have the, uh, what they call the Edison Suite, which is $297 per month. Uh, again, me personally, I think that's pretty extreme. Like it's, you know, there are other alternatives out there that aren't gonna cost an arm and a leg. The other thing with ClickFunnels is, while it is an amazing builder in that regard, there's also this, Almost like, uh, and almost I feel a bit guilty for saying this because I was part of it for like a year and a half and truth be told, I'm probably going to leave an affiliate link for ClickFunnels underneath this if you're interested, but um, the, there's sort of almost like a cult following with it, um, which I think is, you know, don't get me wrong, hats off to that entire team and, and Russell and everyone involved because the marketing is just absolutely on point and the training that you do get as part of ClickFunnels is amazing as well. They've got a great program for brand new affiliates and uh, basically how to go from zero to $4,000 uh, recurring per month and 100 days, I think it is. So, you know, there's things like that, but like I say, the, the issue is that I think that's all just really good marketing. Uh, there are ch cheaper options out there. So, you know, I guess if you're a brand new marketer and you discover ClickFunnels, uh, I'm not saying it's a bad choice, it's just that there are cheaper options. That's all I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I think if I was brand new, I mean, that's the path that I did go down when I started building funnels was uh, click funnels, basically because of its ease of use and because of the marketing and because of the, like I say, the kind of cult following and when you're brand new to that and you start getting wrapped up in it and everyone's like, yeah, click funnels changed my life. I'm one funnel away and yeah. Um, I'm not saying that none of that's cool, it, it really is, but there is, like I say, a whole bunch of other ways that you can make it work for yourself as well. Now, secondly, I'm gonna cover Builder All now. As you know, I do cover a lot of videos on Builder All. I do promote it actively myself, and of course, if you do wanna join my team, there is a link below, feel free to do so. I'd love to have you part of that, and I'm happy to give training and work out uh, basically what you're wanting to achieve with your business. Having said that, and, uh, Hopefully uh, I don't get an online kicking in the nuts for saying this, but there is um, a couple of flaws with Builder Orb. And basically what they are is that, in my opinion, whilst it covers absolutely everything you could possibly think of in terms of a digital tool, uh, I mean, chatbots, uh, Facebook auto posting, it's got obviously that an amazing uh, two-tier affiliate program, which I've covered before. I'm not gonna go into it again now, but basically you can make a lot of money. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, what else do they have? The funnel builder, they've got responsive blog builders. There's a, an entire section dedicated to different types of sales funnels. Uh, what else did I say? Well, webinar hosting, you can create presentations and create videos and those little cartoony video things and floating videos and um, what else has it got? Oh, social media stuff. You can actually make your own little uh, things for social media accounts and stuff. So, I mean, it's got a whole bunch of stuff there and that's only just touching the surface of, of the actual features. Oh, autoresponder as well, of course. Um, so, I mean, you know, as an all-in-one and for paying as little as starting rate of 10 bucks per month, 
and then the second tier, uh, second uh, level up from that's thirty bucks, and then finally forty nine ninety for the the business edition. It is a fantastic value for money, but one of the issues is when you try and produce something that smashes together all these different moving parts, all these components. Of course, there's going to be issues. Of course, there's going to be things that don't work properly. Of course, there's going to be like things that you'll find that you know you didn't even like they maybe even support doesn't know that that's an issue until you discover it type thing um and it is something that you just kind of have to bear, grin and bear it with builder all uh they are constantly improving it they are constantly working at improving a lot of these things that do pop up from time to time and when i i, I sort of I probably am not I'm just not trying to put a negative slant on the actual software itself. Like I say, I use it every day myself. But there are certain things like there's a, a I find uh, using the actual builder itself there's a kind of a lack of intuition involved in that, um, and that might be just purely because I'm stupid, which is quite likely. Or perhaps you know I've actually because I've used other softwares before, and then when I've come over to this, it um it didn't feel quite as as uh i guess intuitive as some of the other ones but that might be just purely based on the fact that i've used other ones first who knows but i mean i do use it i do kind of work my way around those things with ease so like i say in terms of value for money 50 bucks a month you really can't go wrong um which brings me to the next point which was using an alternative to that so there's things like Kartra out there now i'm Full confession, I haven't even looked at it. I know um, one of the dudes that I follow online, Frank Kern, uses Kartra. Uh, have a look at his stuff. He's absolutely amazing. If you're unfamiliar with him, he's you know basically like the like the grandfather or the godfather of uh, internet marketing, basically. So anyway, look him up. He's cool. Um, good dude. And um, I know he uses it, but um, there are other alternatives as well, such as something that's based on WordPress. So one of the other sites that I use and the other funnel builders that I use uh is thrive architect or, or the thrive suite of tools which is all based on wordpress and for me again i find that really really super easy it's all very uh intuitive it's responsive it's drag and drop you can edit different things you can customize basically every single component on there and from a price standpoint you're looking at about don't quote me but i think it's about 300 bucks per year compared to builder all which is like 50 bucks a month on maximum and uh, obviously click funnels which is like 1200 bucks a year by comparison now i'm not saying either of these options is good or bad it's really up to you to kind of do your homework and which work out which ones are suitable for you um but like i say for me i I'm at, at the moment i'm using only builder all and only um not only only builder all and <laughs> Um, thrive as well uh, for my blog and, and some of the other sales funnels that I put together for that but um, like I say the the responsiveness and the drag and drop and, and the customization that you can do with thrive is absolutely amazing I'm sure there's other builders out there that are based on WordPress that offer similar value as well but the the downside is that if you are brand spanking new to this whole thing then you'd have to learn basically about hosting and you'd have to learn about installing WordPress and getting that up and running uh, so there are a few more moving parts to it. It's not just as simple as logging in and go, okay, let's make a sales funnel now, uh, which is the, the case with the other ones, basically. So um, anyway, that's that's it. Uh, that's the conclusion. I mean, for me, my preference is ease of use is uh, probably click funnels uh, overall and, and intuition, all that sort of stuff. But again, you're looking at a hundred bucks a month. It's not exactly a, a tiny investment for a lot of people. And I think the other thing is... Um, with ClickFunnels, because of that price point and because of the fact they pay 40% recurring per month to their affiliates, you're essentially in a lot of ways overpaying for something because of the affiliate side of things, if that makes sense. So uh, anyway, that's just a, a, a thing, another kind of thing to think about, I guess, when you're choosing a sales funnel for yourself. So then of course, um, Builder All, like I say, that is something I promote and use, um, but you do have a couple of those little quirks along the way and then finally, something via WordPress. And again, it is amazing. The likes of Thrive it is absolutely hands down amazing and cost effective and intuitive and fast. Load speed is fast. SEO is amazing. You just like, it's all responsive and looks great. Um, and you know, color palettes and all that sort of stuff work together really well. But then again, you would have to learn hosting and, and get a hosting account. And then you'd have to basically bring that onto your um, WordPress site and all that sort of stuff. So that's it. Anyway, in conclusion, uh, my preference is probably Builder All for basically newbies and 
uh, experienced marketers alike, but just bear in mind there are a couple of little quirks that you will need to navigate your way through. Uh, but you know, realistically from a price standpoint, 50 bucks per month, and especially with that two tier affiliate system that I've got, which is just to recap really quick, uh, if you sign someone up, you get 100% of the first month's revenue and 30% recurring for as long as they remain with Builderall. Um, where it gets really cool, and that's the second tier coming up to this, is basically if, if that person signs someone else up, then you get 30% of that person's revenue per month as well, which is kind of cool. So if you sign up someone who's an absolute gun and just going to run with this thing and just make as many sales as possible, you can just kind of like retire to the beach and chill out, I guess. It's the dream, living the dream. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, leave a comment below, smash that like button if you got any value from this. Uh, my name is Jamie G, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.